Gary, my Nebraska bee teacher, and um, he told me that the new queen will go and kill the other queens in their chambers before they hatch. So my thinking is this, it's kind of a radical idea, is to grab the remaining two queens that haven't hatched and uh, make a split of the Japanese bees and put one of the queens in there, um, the queens in there, and hopefully I'll have two bees, um, you know, uh, Western and Japanese. My only fear is, am I um, losing the viability of my Japanese bees by doing that, weakening the size of the colony, weakening their chance of success? Um, is um, my, um, you know, if I screw up and, um, well, if I screw up, the, the, the Japanese bee would kill, the queen would probably kill the, the Western one. Um, if I put the queen in there and um, do I have enough time for that colony to build up so you know but right now I'm gonna qu quickly check to see if they've ripped out those other queens if they're still there and if that other queen is locked so here I am at the, at the sanctuary here quickly put this Three, I only have three frames in here. So one of the queenie chambers is intact here. I can see it. Unless she's reached in there and stung it. The other queen is in there too. You know, I'm tempted to shake these bees off. I don't know if you can see that here. That's the uh, queen right there. I don't see the queen that hatched. Did she already fly off to mate? I think I'm going to do the split. And, um,. I just get stung here. I'm about to shake off the bees. I don't see the queen that there's just a handful of bees. So, all right, I've got the, I've got a couple bees here. So I'm going to go for the split. under my chair so it stays upright all right I'm gonna go for it I've got two queens in there still in the chamber I don't see the queen that hatched so maybe she's off trying to mate there's so few bees in this beehive that just ain't gonna happen the only chance is look at them all they are some unhappy bees and they may sting the shit out of me going in here. Sorry, girls. Look, I'm wearing no clothes. They're down to two frames now. 
put this top on. You saw I just shook the bees. I've got them all upset with me. I'm here surrounded in bees without a bee suit. Look at that. They're swarming all around here, very unhappy, trying to get back into the hive. But, but that's when you're passionate about bees, right? Look at them all getting in, trying to get back in the hive, get back in the hive, right? I haven't, I haven't been stung, right? These bees care about one thing, the survival. And even you can be really rough. So now I'm going to go back and tell Gary I'm going to do it. So I don't see that queen. There's no way that those bees are going to live. So I'm going to take a risk here and hopefully end up with two colonies now. So I'm going to head now to Oketa Farm and make sure this, this bee thing doesn't fall down. I've got a special box I can use. So that frame stays up. This is it right here. So this, the frame will fit in this box here. Stay upright. Any bees. And it's nice and warm in the car. Hopefully not too warm. So let's be careful. There's no bees on this frame. Frames in here, right? Let's put, the, put this frame jammed in here. So there you go, that's good in there. All right, off to a kid of farm.